Welcome. I'm so excited to be doing this video. It is very different and um, vulnerable for me to be doing because I'm going to be sharing some very personal things with you guys. Hopefully you guys can appreciate that and I just want to start off by saying I am wearing a ton more makeup than I typically do and I'm a lot more self tan because I do have a performance later today so that is why this is all going on quite different than the before pictures but you guys will see that I did actually vlog the day that I got the procedure done so there will be vlog footage spliced throughout which I think is good and yeah if you guys are just stumbling across my video and you're interested in cool sculpting or you're just wanting to learn more I hope this video helps you and if you have any questions about it feel free to leave them in the comments down below and of course you can always subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos but let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so I wanted to start off the video sharing with you guys where I get my cool sculpting done. So I actually got it done at Lohi Laser. They are a Medi Spa that I've been going to and working with for probably about a year and a half now. I got my laser hair removal on my underarms, which if you guys want me to do a full video on that, let me know because I definitely can. Um, but I get my laser hair removal from them and I also have done hydrofacials with them. They have like other treatments like Botox, lip injections. Check out their Instagram if you want to know kind of what goes down, but they are specialized in cool sculpting sculpting as well and that is where I got it done and it was amazing I love all the girls there and everyone is super helpful and the doctors are amazing so that is the first thing and if you guys mention my name you can get 20% off any treatment or anything there so if you just want a facial that works too 20% off I will have information down below but of course I wanted to start off by talking about them but moving into what cool sculpting actually is so it is a free fat freezing technology and I have seen a lot of people get it done on other parts of their body however I really wanted to get it on my neck because I guess it's my chin because I have always been super insecure about that you guys will see in the interview it's just something that has been so bothersome for me and especially being on camera all the time and having pictures taken of me it is one of my biggest insecurities and it's just I can't even explain to you guys how much better I feel after getting this done I my confidence level has grown immensely and I want to show you guys the before pictures so this is a clip that I took before I went and got the treatment done I do have to preface this with I have lost a bit of weight um roughly around like almost 15 pounds since this so that is kind of the week that triggered um a change in our lifestyle and I say we because my boyfriend is doing it as well Cody and I have both been doing um a different diet and everything and if you guys want to learn more about that I can do a whole separate video but let me know if you guys want to hear that but I do have to preface that with because I have lost a bit of weight so you can definitely tell in my face however that being said the under chin that I got treated would not change if I had gained or lost weight because it's hereditary and it's just something that sticks with you you can't like exercise your neck obviously or your chin so that's what I wanted to say if you guys like notice a big difference that's like a kind of a big difference and I feel a lot better and you guys have been so sweet about it but anyway that's a whole nother story so moving into the cool sculpting you guys saw the before pictures and I'm gonna insert the after pictures at the end with a side-by-side -side, but let's go ahead and get into the treatment process so I'm gonna go ahead and insert the vlog footage so you guys can see what Lohi laser looks like what the treatment room looks like do our little like before treatment interview and then I'm going to talk you guys through the process Hey guys, it is April 2nd and it is currently 1.17 p.m. and Cody and I are heading to Lowheed Laser for my cool sculpting treatment and I'm really nervous. Let's, I'm not gonna lie, like I have no idea what to expect. So this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna take you guys along via vlog style and show you guys. We just actually took a couple before um, pictures and then obviously when the treatment has worked and uh, a couple months after the treatment I'll do like a little after so you guys can see the difference we'll see how it goes I'm really excited I like going there it's a fun time usually and it's very cozy and very warm and welcoming so I know it's gonna be a good time but yeah cool sculpting we're gonna try it out today and codes coming along to video and also be supportive so it's good and the Sun is shining which is always good so we're gonna go do that so my name's Kat I'm actually a registered nurse um, been nursing for a long time but I got into cosmetics about four and a half years ago. Now I'm exclusive to low heat laser doing cool sculpt only because I don't cool sculpt so much. So what is it that brings you in today? The reason why I want to get it done is because I feel like it's like a genetic thing. My mom had it and it seems like it doesn't matter what weight I am this area doesn't really ever seem to get smaller and it's just something that I've always been self-conscious of being like photo photographed like sideways or like you know with a 
the side profile is always something that doesn't always look the best and I just would like a more defined side profile and since I am on camera I'm taking pictures all the time it's just one of those areas that you're always taking pictures of your face and it's just something that I just want to fix if there's a solution and there seems to be so let's do it <laughs> yeah so it's actually a very common area um, for females and males, but I feel like females have a harder time to kind of explain that as far as an area that, and it's totally true, it usually is based on genetics, yeah. and it is one of those things that you're not going to, I mean, it really doesn't matter as far as diet, exercise, weight, things like that. Okay. Um, cool stuff does exactly that. It's targeting those pockets of fat that are stubborn yeah. and that we can't get rid of through other um, processes. It is a permanent solution. So it is something that is targeting 20 to 25% of the fat cells in the area that we're treating. Cool. Um, they don't come back. Um, and kind of a brief reason for that is because once we hit puberty, we actually can't produce more fat cells. Hmm. The fat cells we have expanding and shrinking, which feel make us feel like we're either gaining or losing weight. Yeah. Um, so when we treat those, they're actually impossible to actually come back. So though we can still gain weight, and make the area a little bit larger at some point, it would never be as large as it could have been because we got rid of those cells. Interesting, I didn't realize it was like a super permanent thing, so that's really yeah. cool. We'll get started, I'll walk you through everything as far as how it goes. Um, there really is no downtime, there's really not much to it. A um, little bit of numbness, a little bit of swelling, um, the swelling will be something only you notice, it would not be anything that oh, okay, okay. the visual eye would notice. Um, and it's more so just that it kind of feels a little bit harder, to be honest, and that's what we call swelling. Okay. The swelling is actually a good thing. We want to see that. Once all the before treatment pictures have been taken, she takes a little like um, plastic thing and marks up my chin with a highlighter just so she knows where the cool sculpting device is going to be going. And then I sit back, get all comfortable, and then she takes the device and it's basically how I describe it is a giant vacuum. And she puts a little bit of jelly on my face or where the device is going to be and then she puts the vacuum on and then it kind of latches onto your skin and then you're going to instantly feel coldness and you basically just get like if you're getting your chin done you have to have it wrapped into I don't know this like velcro thing so it all stays in place and basically you just sit there for 45 minutes it's going to get down to minus 11 and you have it on for 45 minutes you can't talk you can't laugh which I found very difficult um, they did have a TV in the room which was really great but I just spent a lot of time on my phone as well trying to just pass the time I did find on the second side it was a little bit harder to swallow but it might have just been my angle so basically once the 45 minutes are up it untaches and she does come back and check on you every once in a while but it is a really simple process and of course if you're getting other body parts done you can have like a drink or like sit up and do a bunch of other things but for me I kind of had to just sit still and chill so Mick is in the process of getting her school cool cool sculpting done here she is she's not allowed to talk uh, this whole process not being able to talk for 45 minutes is gonna be a challenge for her um, yeah, so see you guys in 45 minutes probably. We're done on the first side now, we're going to do the second side. So it's on for 45 minutes, like the suction thing, it's kind of like a vacuum. It goes um, to what degrees did you say? Minus 11. Minus 11. And so it just feels kind of funny for the first like 11 minutes and then like kind of sits there. The most uncomfortable thing is probably just like having the thing wrap to your face. <laughs> We're gonna try leaning back this time so it'll probably be a little bit more uncomfortable. And then she takes it off and massages it, which for the first 30 seconds is doable, but then it gets really painful. And then you're like, okay, but there's only a minute left, so you can handle it, suck it up, and then you're done. And then she takes it off, it's a weird feeling, and then it goes away. <laughs> so far, so good. Alright guys, the treatment is now over. I got my little goodie bag to take, which has some skincare samples, a water, granola bar, which is so awesome. I asked if there was any like precautions I needed to take kind of leaving here, um, but there are none. You can like eat and drink and live your life, and it doesn't feel really any different. It doesn't even really feel numb the way I thought it would. Like she said, it'll probably only be numb when like I'm washing my face and stuff, and I'll notice it then. But overall, that was really easy I mean it's obviously uncomfortable in the moment but 
once you're done, you're done and it feels normal. So we'll hopefully see results in, it takes a while. I think she said like three months or something. I have to come back in eight weeks to decide if I need another treatment or not. So we'll see in due time. But for now, I'm gonna go because I'm done. I was going to vlog a couple days after and like a week after and then a couple weeks, but I decided just to do one final roundup of how I felt. So basically, about a week after, I was still quite numb and it's such an interesting feeling, like I said, or like she said, you don't actually notice if you're somewhere else. It's only when I'm like touching my face that I would notice it pretty numb. And it lasted for, I wanna say about like four or five weeks. Um, it was still like a little tickly, but really nothing horrible or anything. And there was actually a weird moment when I was driving one day that I could actually feel, like a little bit after I got the treatment done, that I could feel it tightening and I only felt it once and it was just like such an odd feeling but I could totally feel it tighten and then once the numbing went away I thought that it was a little bit um looser if that makes sense so I was like oh my gosh this is working so well I saw the results quite instantly um a couple weeks after but then once all the numbing went away I was like oh is it still like looser like did it like numb and then when it released did it like not be as tight basically but I don't think so looking at the pictures um, I did go in for my eight week appointment and they said that she probably could do another treatment but we're not quite sure and since it is a permanent thing I can come back in like a year and get another one done or a couple years or a couple months it's totally up to my discretion if I want to do that um, she says she can probably get a little bit more but there isn't that much more to treat if that makes sense because it totally depends on your chin and what's going on and how much fat you still have there but yeah that is pretty pretty much the treatment it was one of the easiest things I have ever done and I am so so glad I did it I was a little bit scared going in I didn't really know what to expect but afterwards and having it done now it's a miracle treatment it's absolutely a hundred percent worth the money if you guys are interested if this is something that's an insecurity to you and you think that you would like to get it treated or at least go in for a free consultation consultation I highly highly recommend it I cannot believe what a difference it made. I want to tell you guys about this one time. A couple weeks after the treatment, I was having pictures taken of me and it was a side profile and normally I would delete those pictures like so quickly because I just hate myself and my side profile. It's just something I've never liked and it's something that runs my family. Like we don't really have a defined like neckline and I just saw that picture and I was like that's actually usable and I was so amazed at how much of a difference it made and like kind of looking at the before and after pictures you don't really notice but on myself I notice a ton so I'm extremely happy with my procedure and I'm so so glad I did it and I'm also really glad that I did it at such a young age if you don't know I'm 22 but this is like I said something that has bothered me my entire life and the fact that there is something that is not invasive and like only takes a couple hours out of your time to do I totally totally recommend it for anyone that's interested um, I will have links down below if you guys want to go check it out of course this is just my experience don't take this too at heart but like I said it is a really easy process the fact that you don't really have to do any needles or any surgery is incredible and there's no downtime too so you don't have to like miss work or school or anything it's super super easy and I'm just I'm so over the moon with my results I could not believe how much it worked and I I'm just so happy. Here's a quick look at the before and after video footage. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about my experience. And if you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments down below and I will get back to you on that. And yeah, if you guys are in the Vancouver area and you want to check out Low Heat Laser, I will have the links to their website down below as well as their Instagram. Definitely go check them out. And if you're interested in any of their uh, services, you can mention my name for 20% off, which on Cool Sculpting would be a ton. So definitely do that if you're interested. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.